What's up, what's up, man? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to How Roots Reacts. It is I, MOE713. We're back with another episode, guys. If you're new to the channel, guys, go, go ahead, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified of my future episodes. And also, if you haven't yet followed me on Instagram, go follow me right now at 713MOE. 713MOE, just in case anything happens to the channel, bro. Y'all know where to find me. But anyway, guys, uh, let's move on to the first topic, bro. First topic we're going to talk about is once again a little bit of update of what's going on with YouTube, bro. YouTube is still on the BS, of course. But apparently YouTube is cracking down once again, bro. taking out these anti, you know, the anti fingers. I'm going to say it like that. YouTube has banned all videos featuring anti content. The new rule prohibits videos from making false allegations about any vaccine, including that they do not reduce transmission, that they cause autism, or that they can track recipients. I mean, they're just going to press uh, more YouTube channels and people who talk about that thing and, you know, and go against that thing. And they're gonna they're just gonna crack down once again you know because we just be multiplying bro they shut down the channel and five more pop up bro they can't stop it you know and of course y'all know my situation so i appreciate you guys are uh, giving me the heads up and y'all worried about these channels being deleted this and that you know we never know guys we never know what's gonna happen with this damn uh these platforms bro and these big tech companies so it's always uh just to make sure you go follow me on instagram if anything happens to the channel you know where to find me all right i mean i guess we could read a little bit of this uh this article right hopefully nothing happens bro all uh, right the article says youtube bans all content containing that thing from misinformation all right all right youtube has banned all videos containing misinformation about that thing that are currently administered and have been approved by local health authorities or the world health or who the measure is an expansion of a policy covering the coat i mean that thing the services say that the user shouldn't for instance post videos in which they claim that that thing leads to chronic side effects they're not nobody's allowed to question nothing guys okay and other rare side effects that health authorities have acknowledged content that alleges the thing uh don't reduce transmission or contraction of the disease or videos that have inaccuracies about that thing bro it's just censorship bro at the end of the day it's just censorship once again bro they do not want us to ask any questions they just want us to hush up and just accept it but don't they understand that science and questioning science bro is science bro i mean science is no fact there is no fact in science every science is an ongoing ongoing theory bro this is what they don't understand so we we're not allowed to ask questions we're just allowed to be little sheep and um uh, it is what it is bro but you know people are waking up and of course the revolution will not be televised like i said they do not show all the protests out here bro y'all don't understand how many protests around the world the protests are huge bro big New York, Australia, Canada, LA, Houston, Atlanta, Chicago, everywhere, bro. Florida, everywhere. Norway, all around the world, bro. Protests. And uh, the, the revolution will not be televised at the end of the day. All right? You're not alone. Don't, don't let the media confuse you guys. We are the majority. And uh, it is what it is. We're going to continue. And they want to shut us down. They want to keep uh, putting these obstacles on people's way for us to share information but it's all right we're gonna we're gonna figure it out you know what i'm saying we're gonna figure it out guys but anyway let's move on to the next topic bro next topic uh let's talk about these flying microchips bro y'all been sending messages about these flying microchips uh the size of a grain of sand all right so apparently there's a new development that they're gonna release millions and millions of these sand flying microchips to surveillance the population bro it's, just, it's weird i mean this is straight up twilight zone shit bro once again I mean, they're basically doing airborne uh flying microchips bro to spread throughout the world bro i mean it's just weird hold on let me read this real quick all right flying microchips the size of a sand grain could be used for population surveillance damn what this, this is the, the tip of a pencil bro look how little that shit is a 3d micro flyer next to a pencil tip for scale it's neither a bird nor a plane but a winged microchip as small as a grain of sand that can be carried by the wind it monitors such things as pollution levels or the spread of airborne diseases how bro the tiny microflyers who whose development by engineers at northwestern university was detailed in the article published by nature this week are being built as the smallest ever human made flying structures all right we're gonna they're called tiny flowers that can gather information about their surroundings what are you breathing this this stuff bro what's going on all right let's let's see this video real quick hopefully it doesn't get uh copyrighted they 
Voyager has designed seeds to have sophisticated aero... And that has the effect of increasing the dispersal distance from the tree. And that's the name of the game, is spreading the seeds as far as possible. structure. The goal of this project has been to add capability for winged flight to electronic circuit chips uh, with the idea that those capabilities would allow us to distribute highly functional but miniaturized electronic devices Damn. that could sense the environment. Hold on. Sorry guys. This is not just one guys. This is like five of them. This is not just one. This is one, two, three, four, five they're tiny, bro. They're literally grain of sand. What the fuck? For disease tracking, population surveillance, maybe monitoring what? of environmental contamination, uh, and so on. Uh, rewind that. Little bit miniaturized electronic devices that could sense the environment. For disease tracking, population surveillance, maybe monitoring of environmental contamination, uh, and so on. How does it send so the information objects that back? we've created consist of two parts. One is an electronic functional component uh, that has an overall size scale in the range of one millimeter. So almost like a tiny grain of sand, uh, but we've integrated with that electronic chip wing structures that um, form almost what looks like a helicopter. And so as these structures fall through the air, in interaction between the air and those wings cause a rotational motion that creates a very stable, slow falling velocity that allows these structures to interact for extended periods with ambient wind that uh, really enhances the dispersal process, much like seeds do in the biological world. We think we've beaten biology uh, in a sense. You think you've beaten biology? Okay, very progressive there. We think we've beaten biology. Uh, in a sense. How would you be biology, bro? The fuck? It says some of the micro flyers are built with a material developed in Rogers lab that will allow them to naturally de degrade and disappear in groundwater over time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, they're basically mapping the world with microchips, bro. Basically. That's what I'm getting from this shit. They're making a digital world, in my opinion. I mean, honestly, is this going to be used for good, bro? We don't know. What, what are they really planning here, bro? This is uh, sketchy as fuck. They're trying to track the population. Whatever they're doing, bro, is, is, is not to benefit you guys, bro. It's not to benefit you guys. I mean, obviously, they have other means of uh, detecting pollution in the air. They want to detect people's uh, diseases. I mean, in my understanding, bro, they're, they're trying to make a digital world. Yeah, man, it's crazy, bro. And how are they going to disperse this? Obviously, they're already doing contrails. You know what I'm saying? Camp trails. So it's very easy, bro. The, the camp trails are already mapping the, the whole world, and they're probably going to disperse it in the air. All right? New digital era coming soon, bro. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Twilight's on shit. But we, we got to keep an update on this BS. But, uh, you know, more to come. More to come, guys. Uh, let's move on to the next topic. Next topic, guys, is also ridiculous. Joe Biden and his new uh, tax for mileage. Have you, have you heard that? This driving tax that is going to be implemented and soon going to be spread throughout the U.S. and probably spread throughout the world, bro. We don't know. They're trying to tax you for mileage, all right? And it's happening already. I think uh, California already accepted it. They already made it to legislation. I mean, the governor of uh, California already is is um, is doing part of this project where they're going to track you how many miles you drive and they're going to tax you per mile. I mean, basically, guys, you are no longer to freely travel around the U.S. or anywhere. If you want to get in your car and you're going to drive any type of miles, they're going to tax you for how many miles you drive. So basically, they want you at home. Not only that, they're spending $126 million to, uh, for new technology to track you, to find a way to track how many miles you drive. You know, they want to make it into a taxable offense. So that means if you drive certain miles and you do not report it in the IRS, they will uh you will be fined and you will be legally uh, bound and uh you will legally be in trouble 
uh, in the government if you do not report the miles at the, in the end of the year of how many dro uh, miles you drove and if you don't pay the taxes for this, these certain miles bro it's ridiculous bro but right, let me try to read an article see if we can get or understand this shit, bro infrastructure package includes vehicle mileage tax program bro uh it was joe biden did uh the new one trillion infrastructure package will include a vehicle mileage tax program here's what you need to know the u.s senate passed president joe biden infrastructure bill with with bipartisan support from the 19 republicans including senate minority leader mitch mcconnell uh buried the 2700 page infrastructure package is a pilot program for a vehicle mileage tax here's how it works all right uh what is a mileage tax a vehicle mileage tax or vehicle miles traveled a vehicle mileage tax or vehicle miles traveled fee uh, would charge motorists a fee based on how many miles they drive. I mean, simply put, if you drive a vehicle, uh, you will be you would pay money to the government for every mile you drive. The time period can vary, but it is typically a vehicle miles travel fee is measured in a one year period. A vehicle mileage travel fee can be used to raise revenue for trans transportation and infrastructure projects so no more free road trips or or anywhere you go because everything's going to be tracked somehow this is the bigger picture bro it's not about you just paying mileage taxes bro they're, they're gonna be strict about it they're gonna put gps's on your car you're gonna be uh tracked everywhere you go because they they want they don't want you to cheat on your taxes so wherever you drive you will be uh you know what i'm saying you will be surveillance I don't think even North Korea does this shit, bro. The fuck? This is worse than the than Germany. Nazi era. You know what I'm saying? How big is the vehicle miles travel tax? The infrastructure bill includes 125 million to fund pilot programs to test national vehicle miles travel fee. Uh, national program. This includes a 10 million each year for 2022 to 2026 for a national vehicle miles travel fee pilot program. I mean, it's all confusing, bro. Let me let me show you a news article where they talk about more of it, so y'all get a gist of it, bro. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Let me let me put this up. The bipartisan infrastructure bill may end up costing Americans more than they realize, with a provision to allow research into a mileage tax that added to the fine print. Grady Trimble is in Chicago with more. Hey, Grady. Hey, Dagan, the bill would set aside about $125 million to look into the feasibility of a mileage tax at the local, state, and federal level. It's unclear if this would be in addition to or a replacement for the gas tax, which in states like Illinois, Pennsylvania, and California are already among the highest in the country and we talked to the folks at the national motorist association they say they strongly oppose this for a number of reasons and they raise a lot of questions as well they say that it's a, essentially a way for the government to get americans to stop driving cars or at least to drive them less it also raises privacy concerns how do you track the miles that people drive and they point out if there's a gas tax along with multiple mileage taxes at the federal and state levels that would be a huge burden on lower and middle class americans what the fuck is going on bro a lot of distraction bro but you see how everybody's distracted with a lot of bullshit and now they're passing these laws bro to take your freedoms away bro i mean how ridiculous is that you can't go nowhere go to the grocery store go visit your family members across town without you being taxed and and tracked because you're being tracked everywhere you go now because of this tax fee this fucking this world government bro is, is gonna say and talk about the new world order you think we you think it's still a conspiracy theory bro what the fuck is going on i mean guys go, go look into this bro bro go look into this more i mean it's just crazy bro this is just insane i know you're wondering you're baffled and you're like what the fuck is going on but guys we are the majority right now all right don't don't get it twisted up even though this big tech they're trying to shut us down even though they probably shut down my channel so eventually you know, maybe one day you'll just, you won't find me no more, bro. It's just the reality of it. I mean, just know that, guys, that you're not alone, bro. We are the majority. Like I said, once again, the, the revolution will not be televised, all right? They will not let, uh, they will not allow you to empower yourself anymore. They're going to try to track everywhere you go. You know, they're going to try to force this thing on you. I mean, just one more topic. Even the, the state troopers, bro, even police departments, you know, because we talked about uh, all the nurses being fired from New York. Even police departments 
you know, state troopers are quitting. Dozens of Massachusetts state troopers handing in their badges over the state's vaccine mandate set to kick in on October 17th. With law enforcement already critically understaffed nationwide, is this putting the public in even more danger? Mike Shervin is, a, is the president of the State Police Association of Massachusetts and a 25-year veteran of the force, and he joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Sergeant, why are you fed up? Well, there just hasn't been time uh, to properly roll this program out. Uh, we, we are in the middle of impact bargaining. The deadlines are here upon us, and we don't have the answers that our members need. Those that are seeking medical and religious exemptions uh, have not been told if they're granted, will they be allowed a reasonable alternative to it to wear a mask and weekly testing. Uh, and because of that, uh, they're looking to other uh, places for employment. And the municipal uh, departments within the state of Massachusetts are offering these reasonable alternatives. Because of these mandates. Anyway, this is just one of many uh, topics we've got to talk about, bro. But anyway, this is just it for today, bro. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. And, you know, just keep on, just keep on fighting, bro. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. This is MOE 713. I'm going to see you on the next episode. And also, uh, if you haven't yet followed me on Instagram, go follow me right now. 713 MOE. Uh, very much appreciated. Yeah, but I'll see you on the next one, bro. Bam.